family. How you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? We are at Live Oak Festival. It's a music festival. Obviously, we obviously we camped here last night, and this festival is like one of the coolest festivals I've ever been to. We used to go to it, but there were a bunch of live oak trees. I've brought you guys to it before, actually. Um, this time. It's, they've moved it because of uh, fire potential hazards and whatnot. We're actually really close to the coast right now. The nice thing about that is that it's actually about 70 degrees right now compared to the usual 100 degree Live Oak Festival we're used to. So this festival is like, obviously lots of good music, but it's really family friendly. It's like really geared towards kids. There's like playgrounds. I heard that this year there's even a little like reptile exhibit, like a place where kids can handle and check out snakes and lizards and stuff like that. So I'm really looking forward to checking that out, of course and also just having a good time and hanging out with some good people and doing some good music stuff. So uh, welcome to Live Oak Music Festival. Hey, Daddy. Poor, poor, dude, poor dude was playing with sticks when I told him not to play with sticks like that and throwing them around, but look at his poor little face. Maybe share some with mommy and daddy. Okay. What happened, Noah? What do you say? I Bubba? was you gonna say, swing honey? a stick, but then it bounced say? back at me. Thank you. But what do you say? How's the pancakes, Grammys? Good. When I got Jesse's son that guitar the other day, I couldn't help but grab myself a little three-quarter size guitar. I felt like it would be perfect for this festival to play. So maybe, maybe at the end of the video, I'll play a song for you guys. You guys want that? The off road uh, guy? Right now, right here. Oh, Daddy. Hey. Oh, and mommy? Oh, yeah. I thought his friend asked me. You don't need to beat everything, my guy. Did you all like a ride down? Um, I turn around. It's not just the um, We're just going right to the thing. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'll jump in with you. Yeah, sure. Not? Sure. Just for fun. Yeah, just yeah. Ride, ride just for fun. Legs are working, but just ride for fun. That's Why not? That's it. <laughs> Bye, slow pokes. <laughs> a little bit challenging. I carried this 50 pound cooler all the way up from the, oh. the bottom, all the way up to the top of camp. So that was a lot of fun. Today. And where was I then? Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. Oh, how'd you get down here so fast? This kid constantly impresses me with his climbing skills, his dinosaur knowledge skills, his ability to take a stick to the face. Noah, you rock, dude. What do you know? I know. Crystal. What? Crystal. Crystals? Yeah. What about crystals? That, that they're usually sharp and there's about and there's a lot of them and they're valuable. They're all different colors. And they're rose quartz diamonds. They're quartz diamonds. Um, topazes. There's tiger eye. And that's all I know. That looks like a blue tunnel snake. Is that a blue tongue skink? That's why he's called a blue tongue skink. That's right. Good job. I thought they were smaller than it. Yeah, they get big, don't they? Pretty sweet. Do you come here every year? No, no, no this, this is our first, first, first time that we've come here. Well, uh, don't put these guys near each other. Why? <laughs> yeah, just, just because. <laughs> just in case. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> they might like to fight. I bet these two don't know each other. <laughs> 
because I bet they live in a different habitat. They do. That's right. Does this guy live in the jungle? This one is, yes. It is. Yeah, I'm wondering who's snake. This reptile is cool. They come from Does tropical, that one live in the desert? Tropical Australia, and that one is from the desert. That's right. Is this a king snake? Yes, that's right. Can I? It's a gray banded king snake. Good thing they're not venomous. Ron Rupert is the gentleman you guys can thank for bringing reptiles to a live music festival and educating the kids. Pretty cool, man. That's next level. Live reptile handling zone at a freaking music festival. First time for me, too. I've been putting a full daddy duty while Hillary goes back to camp. So I got all three kiddos keeping them under wraps. This is the type of place where you could probably be fine, let your kids run around wherever, but you know, never be too safe with your kids, I don't think. Still gotta, still gotta keep an eye on them, right? So we got Cornhole Girl, we got Foosball Boy, and we got Water Pump Eli. How's life out going for you so far, mommy? Yeah? Any complaints? Just the initial loading situation. <laughs> the initial loading situation where I had to carry the 50 pound ice chest all the way up the hill, way far up the hill, super far up the hill. I was pissed. And I had to push a stroller with blankets where I couldn't even see in front of the stroller. <laughs> it's the first year we've had Live Oak not at Live Oak. And it's just different. It's a little different with the loading situation, I guess. But. Just and it just happens to be the campground we're in has that issue. All the other ones are not don't have that issue. Yeah. We're not gonna <laughs> it's let just that. The universe starting us off with the challenge, so the rest seems. The nice rest and is easy. nice and easy. <laughs> <laughs> you got multiple people here letting kids hold snakes. Man, this have is a awesome. Seat. Have a seat right over there. Came back to the tent to just decompress for just a moment. So there was a moment out there that I, I didn't film, but I wanted to share with you guys. I, I saw a guy who was clearly a great grandpa with his great granddaughter, and he was just swinging her on the swing and dancing with her, and it just really, it really touched me to see it. And I, I went up to him, I shook his hand, told him congratulations, and that I hoped someday to be in his shoes. And it was just. That moment today, I think that might be the moment of the whole weekend that just is going to stick with me. I just want to share it with you guys, but it, I think uh, it's time to get back out there.
Slow roasted coffee. I know it it doesn't just apply to coffee, it applies to life. Don't just live it, enjoy it. That's the idea, right? So these guys got the right idea. I think we all got the right idea here. I sorry I didn't play you some guitar like I meant to, but I'm busy listening to this awesome uh, Cuban group that's on stage right now. So I'm gonna get back to dancing. You guys, I'll see you tomorrow. We're also gonna be giving away a brick of this Cocoa Blocks to one of you guys that comments down below. So leave a comment down below. Let me know why you do whatever you do. <laughs> I'm sorry, T. Oh, do you wanna see the snakey some more, T?